morning. It's Friday Feed here with Joel Morris and Sally Falco. And good morning to you. Good morning. It's a rainy Friday in Pasadena. <laughs> it is indeed, in sunny Southern California. <laughs> exactly. So I read something really interesting recently. Uh-huh. And it was a prediction that within the next two years, half of all the newspapers in the U.S. are going to go away. Well, that certainly would make a change. Now, how would that affect you as a PR person? Pretty radically, I would think, because if we've been dealing with the media, and a lot of it has been print media for the last hundred years, and half of it goes away, okay, it might not be all the big ones, and those may be the ones we're after. But in many cases, you are getting coverage in the smaller papers as well. And we've already seen the LA Times and Chicago Tribune have declared bankruptcy, so it could well be the big ones. Right. And then, as Greg Jarbo asked me at SES, what's going to be your next trick? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the, the advantage is just as technology is taking away from the newspapers, technology is opening up new channels of communication. Um, people is a trend that I think everybody's aware of. It's been going on since the Internet became publicly available, is people look more and more to the Internet for their sources of information. And so the newspapers get replaced by the internet, and then the technologies allow everybody to get their information out more easily. It doesn't just have to be a uh, going to a wire service like it used to be. You have blogs, you have RSS feeds, you have web pages, you have all different social media is another big one these days, and allow people to get their information out. Wouldn't that apply to PR people as well? Absolutely. and. It is a huge change and a lot of PR people are realizing that they have to learn how to use all these new media tools because that's the only way they're going to reach their audience. Yeah, and it's not only newspapers. I don't think I've read also that with the change over to digital TV um, and people having to get set-top boxes if they don't have cable or other methods of getting uh, the, their TV or satellite, for instance, that a lot of people are just opting out of television as well. So that's another channel that shuts down for PR people, but allows people to get all of that same information that was on TV on the internet now. How nice is it that we can make little <laughs> videos and even have them interactive and clickable, like this one? Exactly so, and certainly a technology we're starting to use. Well, I think that, that uh, certainly gives us food for thought and, and, and ideas on the necessity of everybody becoming a publisher and using the technology to publish, not just going to the old ways of doing things. Absolutely, and PR people have to figure out how they're going to get all their information out in these new channels and use all this new technology. That's exactly right. And we have, another, we have a tip for you today, our, our weekly tip. Um, it's a site called copygator.com, C-O-P-Y, G-A-T-O-R.com, and I'll put the URL on the slide after this video. But basically, it has two uses. Um, it helps you find your information that you've published and that has then been republished by somebody else. And the, and the, the two ways this is useful is, you, um, in, in many circumstances, you want to syndicate your content. You want other people to, to be picking it up and republishing it and having the links back to your site. So it helps you find out, let's say you put something out in an RSS feed, uh, if somebody else has, has syndicated it. And the other way is uh, kind of the downside, on the other hand, is somebody's ripped off your content and taken it and published it without your permission. And it'll help you track that down. So again, that's copygator.com. That's our tip for today. And thank you for watching our Friday feed.